here's some of the gorgeous sweet corn that we have gotten this year. It's a very sweet and very good. So what I want to do is take what we have left and I want to freeze it. And I'm going to show you um, an awesome way to freeze this corn and, an, and a really good tip on how to get the um, husks and silks off the corn. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in the microwave just as they are. So the point of the microwave is to cook it just enough so that it will slide out of the um, husk and the silk easily. You won't have to spend time picking off all the silk. It'll be a little easier and, and they're going to be hot. So you want to use a like an oven mitt or something when you're holding on to it. And you want to cut it far enough up so that it will be uh, up to the, the whitest part of the corn. That way it'll slide out easy. So you want to cut it. Okay, grab your mitt, grab the corn, and then I just kind of work it back and forth till I get some of the corn sticking out the bottom. And sometimes if it's cooked enough, you can just go like this and it'll slide right out. If you want to make your corn in the microwave and eat it, that's, that's the way you do it. You just put it in for about eight minutes per ear, but you see how that just slid right off once I got it. And there's literally no silk on that. So we're going to set them over there in the roaster to cool off. Once again, we're going to cut. You need a good strong knife to do this. You want to have a bag for the silks and the husk too, ready to go. So once again, we just twist. See how that's out of there? Grab, there you go. Stick it over there to cool. And you're gonna do that with all your corn. So what you're gonna do when your corn is done is you're gonna stand it up on this flat end that you cut it off to get the silk and stuff off. You're gonna stand it up. And I like to use a cookie sheet for this because the corn kind of flies, but there's an edge on the cookie sheet that'll sort of keep it in place. So you just cut down the ear, get all that good corn. Okay. Throw that in your bag. Do one more for you. This seasonal corn is the best ever. If you have not had fresh sweet corn from a farmer's field in season, you want to try to look for that because it is honestly the best corn that you can get, especially if you get a sweeter variety. My dad used to grow a variety called candy corn and it was so sweet and delicious. Now if your cookie sheet or the pan that you're using starts to get full, you want to measure it into your roasting pan. One, two, three, four, and I think we can pretty much guesstimate there's about five cups there. You know, homestead cooking doesn't have to be an exact science. The last batch is in. Woohoo! All right, look what you guys made me do. I had a blowout. <sighs> These are toast because I could totally feel the heat through that. So I am going to use the of glove. Ooh, Dan just came in. Lean down here by the cutting board and say hello to the folks. Hi. Way down. 
Way, way down high. Way high. Okay. high. <laughs> <laughs> I am making a total mess. That's okay. Corn everywhere. I mean, whoever said it, it's not going to be messy, right? Is it safe to get casserole? Oh, yes, you can get dinner, honey. I just pulled it out about five minutes ago, so it should be perfect. Tater tot casserole tonight, folks. All right, so we have our corn mess. This ended up being about 10 cups of sweet corn, and I believe there was probably about 16 good size ears of corn. So with this, we're, what we're gonna do is we're going to add a quarter cup of half and half for every five cups of sweet corn. So we're going to add half a cup of half and half to this batch. And then also for every five cups of sweet corn, we wanna put in a stick of butter. So we're gonna put in two sticks of butter. And you do not have to um, cut up this butter when you put it in. And you know what? I am going to put the butter on top after I mix up corn with the half and half. I'm just going to use my corn measuring cup because why not? Who likes to do dishes? Certainly not me. Okay, so we've got our half and half. Okay, so that's about a half cup. So we're just gonna stir that in, kind of get everything coated with half and half. Then we're just gonna spread it out evenly. maybe we'll just break the butter in half. I would suggest using, this is unsalted butter, but I would suggest using salted butter for this because then you won't have to do like any seasoning once you pull it out of the freezer. And I just, you know, heat it up in the microwave um, at that point once I take it out to actually use it. So we're just gonna put this lid on. We're only gonna put it in for 30 minutes because we've already partially cooked this in the microwave. Then about halfway through, you want to go ahead and stir it. So set your timer for 15 minutes, stir it, set it for 15 minutes more. And now it's time for some good old fashioned tater tot casserole. Well, that's cookie. So you wanna label your bags with the year, obviously. Then when you pack your corn, you're gonna, you can use just the same one cup measure you used to measure out the corn. Put your corn in there and then you wanna get as much air out as possible. I kind of roll it and then seal it. Put it in the freezer. 